Donna. Yes. After 22 cities, nine countries, and more than 23,000 miles, I am pleased to tell you that you have won the $1 million. I cannot believe this moment. I have never imagined this would be possible. I'm proud of my own mind. Proud of my son. Can't think of anything better than to win the amazing race with you know, my, my best friend. <laughs> Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Well, there they are, the winners of the amazing race, David and Connor O'Leary. Welcome and congratulations. Thanks. Thanks and, and we're told that you're going to split up the uh, million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, that, they didn't explain that to us. Okay. So, so what was the finale t taped? Uh, almost six months ago. Okay, about six months ago. How do you keep something like that a secret for so long? It was tough. It was tough, that is for sure. I have scars on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, well that, that is just so cool. Now, uh, you made history in the Amazing Race. I mean, you're the first, uh, like, father, son, or, or relatives who won. And uh, let's see, uh, you, you're both cancer survivors. Yeah. I think you tied for uh, one of the youngest winners yep. of the Amazing Race. I mean, all these firsts. Yeah. Yeah, we, we feel fair. like we won the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> we certainly have all the way around. Okay, we want to look at some of the uh, highlights of uh, how this all went down. So, first of all, we're, in fact, we're going to show some video here of uh, when you met David Copperfield. And uh, that seemed like it was a pretty scary situation, especially for you, David. Okay, did you have any idea of what was going to happen? Uh, none whatsoever. I mean, they put Connor in that box and I uh, handed him the keys and went back and watched him figure out which key and was trying to tell him which key I could see was using the wrong key. <laughs> he had no faith in me. Yeah. Okay, uh, then, you know, and it, he it blows up. up. Yeah. yeah in, in the fire, and then he comes out as a firefighter. Oh, I was, sh I mean, when it blew up, I was. I don't know if I was panicked, but I was in a this kind of shock. And then to have him show up as a firefighter, it was truly an illusion. Um, incredible. Okay, uh, so you're in on the trick, obviously. And Next again. David Copperfield right here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. Okay, so, so the next thing is the victory jump in Vegas. All right? Oh, actually, a mirage. We want to do the mirage first. Okay, okay. so you had to uh, tell us a little bit about the, how you had to find clues in, in Vegas there. Yeah, so once we got done with David Copperfield, we had to make our way to uh, the Neon Boneyard, and we got a, a clue there. Uh, which was a light bulb. not be afraid of heights. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> terrified. Absolutely terrified. <laughs> Look at that. So, yeah. <laughs> it's probably hard for you to watch now. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. So, and then you weren't done with the heights. No. Nope. We thought the, we were. The, the jump. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was cool for everyone because you're all dressed alike and, and no one really knew who, who was going to win it. Oh, so tell us it, about that. It was that cool moment. for everyone yeah. but the person jumping. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty terrifying. That's something I never would have chosen to do. Uh -huh. But you're in a helicopter and you have a chance to win a million dollars and uh, be able to cross the finish line with my son and you jump. <laughs> <laughs> so what moment did you really know that you had won? You know, we had to find a clue on the Las Vegas Strip, right. which was really a challenge because there's so many lights. And when I said, I, I knew we were the first helicopter when I found the clue, and they said that's correct. I kind of knew at that point, at least I thought we'd won. But when we hit the ground, yeah, it was something. It's it was good. really something. Okay, what a father and son experience. I mean, how can you top that for the rest of your life? Yeah, <laughs> it's <pretty good. laughs> I got a plan next. I don't think we're going to top that, that's for sure. That was uh, Actually, we're going sailing. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> I don't think it'll top that, though. Well, that is so cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. If you want to, uh, look at all the fans you've got over here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to swing the camera over? Yeah. We want to know what you're going to do with the million dollars. <laughs> okay, Mary wants to know, what are you going to do with the million dollars? Uh, after taxes, what do you have, about uh, $50? Yeah, right. <laughs> donate, donate 25 of that to cancer. Yeah. So I'll do, definitely uh, donate some to cancer, and uh, who knows what I'll do with the rest. Save it. Oh, well, that's incredible. I mean, and you guys are heroes. In fact, uh, we're going to get some autographs here after uh, <laughs> we, we go over to Debbie, right? So